Every year, some 20 million people book a holiday on a luxury cruise ship. The emissions from the ship's funnels are simply blown away by the wind. So everything's fine, or is it? What is the environmental impact of cruise ships? Luxury liners are an environmental disaster. They sail the seven seas powered by heavy fuel oil, a thick toxic substance that's far more harmful to the environment than gasoline or diesel. The luxury liners are like floating incinerators for hazardous waste without filters. They emit concentrated sulfur, phosphor, nitrogen, heavy metals, and other harmful substances in dangerously high quantities. An average-sized cruise ship carrying 2,000 passengers uses 1,500 tons of fuel per day when it's at sea. In port, it requires an average of 50 tons to meet the liner's electricity demands. Experts have calculated that the amount of pollution emitted by a luxury liner equals that of 5 million cars covering the same distance. Cancer-causing soot particles from the ocean giants are also spread by the wind. There are around 500 cruise ships in operation worldwide, and the number is on the increase. And they aren't the only vessels sailing the high seas. There are also thousands of huge tankers and even more container ships, some of which also run on heavy fuel oil. Around 1 billion of the annual 31 billion tons of CO2 emitted worldwide come from shipping. But that could be prevented. If the ships ran on diesel, it would be a cleaner alternative, but costs would rise by about one-third. Environmentalists are calling for the extreme levels of sulfur in the ship's fuel to be reduced considerably. Filters and catalysts would help to make the emissions less toxic. And the electricity consumed by the ships when they are in port could come from local suppliers and not from the vessel's engine. Cruises would be more expensive, but a lot greener, too.